Okay, so we are preparing to stop the PVU and stop the gas burning. Just a few readings, a few parameter checks before we stop. This is the MOP for the PVU unit. So let's go. I'm heading down to the engine room and we'll initiate the stop from there. I've got my guy standing by in the bridge so you can see how it looks, how you see how ethane vents out from the, for the vent stack, from the silencer. I'm sure you'll be shocked. You'll be wondering what the hell is the white smoke from the vent stack. That's the ethane. Let's do this. Okay, so let's go through the system once again. The FGSS supply pump on tank number four, recirculating back to the tank, supplies to the inlet filters, to the FGSS inlet drum. That's the return back to the tank, maintaining the tank level. Again, supplying to the PVU, supplying liquid to the PVUs, PVUs pressurized to 380 bar, then to the vaporizer, which makes it gas at the same pressure, about 42 to 45 degrees. From there to the master gas valve and then to the engine room. Once it comes to the engine room, we monitor it from here in the second fuel system. This second fuel, auxiliaries and second fuel, keeps this is the entire status. If any of these are not ready, the system can't run and it won't run. Those are the interlocks, SF pipes. This is what we look at. Let's come back to this in a bit. This is the double wall pipe screen, double wall vent screen. You have sealing oil, which is important for all the bores and all the ports and the injectors, the GIVs. This is the cylinder pressure monitoring, telling you all the signals are okay or not. So let's get back to the secondary fuel pipes. Yes, from there, after the master gas valve, it comes into this system. This is the gas injection system. 801, 807, these are the plant safety valves and the plant main valve. 852 is, your, is called as your restriction valve. It has a small uh, orifice alongside that is adjustable depending on few other parameters. That one is called as 0852 and the main one is 852. Then comes into the common manifold, goes into each and every uh, unit into the accumulators, then the window valves and then into the cylinder itself via the gas injection valve. This is the venting and the purging line, the purging system from the IG and up to the PMI computer. This is the PMI computer, the black and red graphs that you see. This is called as the Skusu scope. Second fuel cylinder safety unit. So that's the full form for SCSU. Tells you each cylinder. You can zoom into a particular cylinder or you go into that one as well. This is my PMI, the line recorder. Something what I always look at. The secondary fuel index 58, the primary, that's your fuel oil, 4% going all the way. So let's prepare to stop now. So when I prepare to stop, the first thing that I do is I go to engine, running dual fuel, and I stop. It doesn't stop instantly. It takes a while. Now let's watch this changeover. This changeover is very important. You can see the second fuel index will drop. The primary fuel index will start going up. Right now it's 12 and 52. You can see the sensor values will slowly change. Second fuel index 48, primary fuel 17. This is the index limiter status. It says SF change over active. The light blue keeps getting smaller and shrinking and eventually will disappear. The dark blue, the main fuel, fuel oil taking over. Both the curves have crossed each other now. This means that the fuel index is more than a gas index visible from the value here, as well as from the curve. Because of the slight changes in fuel, there may be a little bit change in uh, your scavenge pressure and turbocharger RPM because of the variation in the fuel index, but it's minimal and the engine can cope up with that, doesn't cause any major difference in speeds. All right, so our fuel changeover is almost complete. Second fuel index is at about 3% and which will hit to zero soon. 2% now, coming down 1% and yes, it says plant changeover complete. I get a couple of alarms, but that's, that's all right. So off to the bridge and that is the ethane being released from the silencers, the vent stack, this goes on for about a minute and a half and then it dies down. And now when you see your second fuel system in the SF pipes, it goes into the venting stage. It says blow off, plant blow off. After that, you will have a flow purge and that will culminate your gas process. Okay, so back to the PVU MOP in the CCR, you can see the system state shows standby. It has a default timer of five minutes. If nothing happens in that, it will go to stop. But since we are stopping it manually, we can press the stop button. 
So the same thing happens, it goes to a blow down mode, the liquid goes back to the tank, the gas is vented out. So as soon as our valve changes off to venting, the hydraulic pumps, SHPS standalone hydraulic pressurized system, those pumps stop. We can go to the HPS page on this and see that the hydraulic pumps have stopped. And now it's just the glycol system that has to stop. Was a regular gas stop that means uh, I press the stop button and the sequence goes on and the system stops normally that's not an emergency one that's a regular stop manually triggered by us the other way it will stop in a normal fashion is if the engine load uh, drops down below 15% that is when the engine uh, that's when the gas stop will occur all right take care bye bye thanks a lot the deep sea man signing out do like do share and do subscribe bye bye